Former state employee is speaking out about a brutal year working at the Grant Sawyer State Office Building. He says mechanical issues were so bad employees were getting sick. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazara tells us what was happening and what's being done to fix it. Police officers. Lewis Haney is no longer a state worker as of Tuesday. He put in his two weeks after eight years working as a gaming control agent in the Grant Sawyer State Office Building. Definitely part of the reason for my departure. He's talking about this, a picture Lewis took showing the inside temperature of the building nearly 95 degrees. One of the many days he says this happened. It was about 114 outside and it got to about 94, almost 95 inside. The building was built in 1995. The state confirming to me the equipment inside is just as old. Lewis says the problems with the heating and cooling system this past year were worse than ever. It's not just that the air conditioning goes out, but then it starts blowing hot air from outside inside. Lewis says the conditions were making he and his coworkers ill. Started getting headaches, you know, sick to your stomach. You get home and, and you just pass out and you wake up and you're just exhausted because you've just been in the heat for, for a long period of time, about 10 hours. Lewis says he filed multiple complaints to OSHA, hardly getting a response. But new tonight, OSHA confirming to 13 Action News they did receive a complaint about the building and they are investigating it. They just don't seem to have a budget to do any maintenance or anything like that. A spokesperson with the state of Nevada tells us during the last legislative session, they were approved to buy and install a brand new state of the art heating and cooling system. That will be ready to go by next spring, meaning the issues Lewis and his co-workers endured should never happen again. Gina Lazara, 13 Action News. Gina tells us employees were also concerned about the building testing positive for methane, which is a potential explosive substance. The state tells us that was due to a sewer leak, but that problem was already addressed and repaired this summer.